like the real enemy. To me, the Pope symbolizes um, everything that is evil. He is a symbol in particular. That picture is uh, of him um, when he did his tour of Ireland. Ireland has the highest instance in Europe of child abuse I experienced of myself. Um, and I find his presence in Ireland telling the young people of Ireland that he loved them hilarious. At least when I studied the history, I found out that the people who were responsible for telling lies in the first place were the Vatican, who uh, through permitting the invasion of uh, countries and the, the destruction and murder of entire races of people in the name of God and for money uh, and then their subsequent overtaking of the educational systems of all the countries that they went into uh, led to um, distortion of historical fact um, similar to the type of distortion fact that you see going on in the media uh, for example um, uh, and that, that is what has led to the murder of the human spirit which has in turn led to uh, the abuse of children.
Um, but as a theologist then, when I got to look at just chapter two of the Quran, in fact, if that's all you listen to with chapter two, um, it pretty much encapsulates what's in the rest of the Quran. When I read it and listened to it, it it's a song really, it's a wrong way of putting it, but the Quran is sung, Muhammad didn't read or write. So it's a very interesting song and it's better, you pick it up better if you listen to it. But when I read it and listened to it, it, it again, as an Irish person, we love words. The intelligence of the scripture, the intelligence of the way Allah uses language, to me that shows that it could only have been supernaturally written. There is no human being on earth could have put together the, the language and composition of, of the Quran. Tell me about that and, and, and how yeah. this came about. Um, well, uh, the word revert, it, it refers to the idea that if you were to study the Quran, you would realize that you had all you were a Muslim all your life and you didn't realize it. It's just and waiting to happen to you. That's what happened to me. Yeah. So I grew up, I'm 52, I grew up in a very different Ireland to the one that exists now, and it was a very oppressed country, religiously speaking. And everybody was miserable. Nobody was getting any joy in God. And whatever the church were teaching, and they weren't happy either, mm. whatever they were telling you God said, I thought, well, it makes no sense sure. because everybody's miserable so I started reading the scriptures when I was a very young child and then I started studying scriptures from different religions trying to find you know the truth about mm. God as such and I left Islam until last because, and I never thought I would join a religion I left Islam until last because I, I had so much prejudice about Islam you know Yes. and then when I started reading and I read just chapter 2 alone of the Quran I realised oh my god I'm home I've been a Muslim all my life and I didn't realise it